guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today is my week 20 update from vertical sleeve gastrectomy, which I had. Um, I have like the world's wateriest eye right now, so I apologize. But um, I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 12th, 2015 in Lowell Mass at Lowell General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. Um, I started, <clears throat> excuse me, my starting weight throughout this um, process was back in July and I was at a 335. Um, my weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. My weight last week was 231. So I just hit the 100 pound mark um, last week and I was so excited. Um, and then this morning I weighed in at 232, yeah, 229.8. So I lost probably about a little a pound ish in ounces. Do you know what I mean? So um, still a loss is a loss. I'm excited about that. I've been weighing myself every day like I have all along and it's getting frustrating because I'll go up two or three pounds and then I'll lose a pound. So today I didn't think that I was going to have a loss at all. I honestly, yesterday I think I was up to 233 or something like that. So I was excited to see a loss at all. Um, but I'm, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy where I am. I feel good. Um, let's see. Uh, I had an incredible NSV and I did post about this on Facebook. Um, if you're on my personal Facebook, like Facebook for me has gotten kind of weird. My personal Facebook is just my personal crap. Um, and then I logged back into my VSG um, Facebook and I had so many friend requests, so many messages, so many. And I felt horrible because I literally haven't been in there since probably August, October. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can maintain the two. So if some of you are on my personal and my VSG specific Facebook. I apologize that you may see some duplications, but, um, I don't, it's, <laughs> I can't keep things separated. I can't, I can't keep track of everything. And I have too many people that I can't have on my like personal. I mean, it's just crazy. So I apologize in advance, but my point to that is if you saw this little rant on Facebook, then you know what, what happened this weekend. But, um, I had an amazing weekend. I had my children this weekend. It was fabulous. So Saturday, I woke up, went to the gym with my mom. I'm still feeling sore. I couldn't even go to the gym yesterday because I was so sore. And today I'm like, I'm still sore. And so um, that was amazing. And then I still had my workout gear on and I took the kids. We had to go to Walmart to get some stuff. Um, and then on the way back from Walmart, um, our house is like right in front of some railroad tracks. And then beyond the railroad tracks is a school and then like a park on the other side. Um, so I was like, why don't, it's like 40 degrees out. This is like beautiful weather for New England in February. So I was like, guys, let's go to the park and like spend some time there. So the kids were pumped. We went to the playground and, um, it was really fun hanging out with them. And then beyond the playground, what is a baseball field? And then like a little track that goes around. So my youngest was like, can we go like jog on the track? And I was like, of course, let's go. So, um, they were, they were like racing each other and then I started jogging to catch up with them and then my youngest wanted to race me so I raced him and uh, we went around a few times and then beyond um, the track is like uh, some woods and there was like a little trail. So I was like, oh, you guys, like, let's go explore. Let's, like, be explorers in nature and see what we can find and see where this leads us. So um, we went through the woods and we found a little picnic area. And then we ended up coming up to the school that's, like, right behind our house. And so... Um, when we had turned around and like went back to the school, my, my oldest was like, can we go like, see if we can find our house? And I was like, sure. So we went through their playground, went through their field and we literally were like right at the railroad tracks, which is like a little scary. Cause there wasn't a fence or anything. And like, it was the, the yard for the school. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's a little sketchy, but, um, we could see our house from right there. So like, can we walk home? Can we walk home? So I was like, that's, let's do it. Like never ever do this on your own children. Cause we're about to cross the railroad tracks and we have trains that go back there, um, frequently. So I was like, I was even nervous. I was like, all right, you guys, like, let's make this fast. I'm not about to die today. So, um, we crossed the tracks and we walked up our hill and there was our house. So we went home and, um, my, when to, we had to do some bathroom breaks and my boyfriend was home. He had just been home and we're like, can you drive us to our car please? Cause I don't, I didn't, I didn't feel like walking. So, um, he ended up walking, uh, walking us, he ended up driving us back to the park and my youngest had brought a soccer ball cause he wanted to play soccer. So we convinced my boyfriend to stop being such a baby about the cold weather. And we all went out and had, um, a soccer, we played soccer and, uh, it was so much fun. We did two on two and I swear my team won, but that's not how the other team sees it. Um, but it was just amazing. My youngest wants to play soccer. So we were trying to like teach him how to 
um, you know, pass the ball and kick the ball. And it was just so much fun. And literally my boyfriend hasn't seen me that active, um, ever like active, meaning like I was actually jogging and chasing and running after the ball and like running as fast as I could. Like it was just an amazing feeling to be able to be out there and like literally live life. Um, I finally hit my 10,000 steps on my Fitbit. I think I almost hit 12,000 that day. I feel like it should have been like 20,000, but whatever. So um, it was just an amazing feeling because I was like, this is the biggest NSV of life because this is the reason that I actually had surgery so that I could play with my children so that I could enjoy life, not sit on the sidelines like I had to do uh, even just last spring and summer. Oh, you guys almost went down. Um, but I literally was able to partake and be part of the family. And it was just, I can't even put into words how happy I was and how like huge my heart was because of the fact that I got to partake and be a part and be present and live life and enjoy it and not feel embarrassed or not feel like um I didn't want them to see my fat like jiggle as I'm trying to run like no I, I was just active and loving it and it was just such an amazing day so big huge NSV um and I really just I it was an amazing weekend I literally just felt amazing um and I think that that is really exciting to me because going more into the warmer weather, like that's going to be my form of going to the gym, I feel like. I'm not going to have to go as much. And um, the reason I say that is because a few things have come up this week with the gym. One, just in my own brain, I've kind of had the daunting thought that, Caitlin, this is going to be for the rest of your life, you're going to have to go to the gym four or five days a week to keep your body like in check, to keep losing weight, to keep maintenance. Like you're going to have to do this for the rest of your life. This isn't just like a few months of the gym. Like you have to go for the rest of your life. You're going to have to make time for the rest of your life. And that's kind of a daunting thought for me. Um, hopefully not necessarily as much, like I said, when the warmer weather does come, but I live in Massachusetts. I live in New England. So winters are horrible. So I, I certainly am not going to be outside playing and, and being active that way at home at outside. And when I'm at home, I just don't feel the motivation to work out. Like I'll put in a DVD and like do a couple sit-ups and then I'll just lay down on the ground and like fall asleep. So I can't do it at home. So going to the gym is going to have to be, um, like a reality for me. And I feel like that's just kind of a daunting thought. So that was what was going on with me. And then my boyfriend actually had said, um, he brought it up. I don't remember when or what happened, but he said that he's starting he's feeling like he is really missing me. Um, because when I'm going to the gym, it's after I am putting the kids to bed because my boyfriend already gets the boys off of the bus. He gets them home. He makes sure their homework is done. He has to, you know, shower and stuff after his work, after his day at work. Um, he will sometimes feed the kids. Sometimes I don't get out of work until six 30. So I'm not home until seven. So, uh, it's just kind of a challenge and they're not, they're not, biologically his children so I feel guilty making him take on all that responsibility though he takes it on himself and he he gladly accepts it and um you know he feels like they're his children as much as they are my children and he's been a huge blessing in that aspect and and I am internally grateful and the kids love him I love him for it like it's 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 an amazing situation I'm so blessed to have him but I still want to do whatever I can in my power to eliminate him having to like take care of them 24 7 do you know what I mean so I will come home from work and do whatever needs to be done if they have to finish homework or eat or shower put them to bed and then normally that's our time for me and my boyfriend to lay in bed talk about our days you know just have one-on-one -on -one time and recently it's just been you know I've been putting them to bed and then I get changed and then I head to the gym and so he did ver uh verbalize verbalize or vocalize he did tell me um, that he's, he's missing our time and he's missing me and he feels like I'm just always at the gym and like, it's almost like it's a different person. And I'm, as soon as he said that to me, like it was kind of like a, 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 a knife through my heart because I don't ever want him to feel, um, I don't know, to feel like I'm a different, I, it's kind of hard to, to put into words because I, I'm, I am a different person right now. I, I never a hundred pounds ago would be going to the gym daily. I wouldn't be worried about what I'm eating. I wouldn't be, um, you know, so nervous 
not nervous, but worried about how much water I'm taking in and my protein intake and have I made enough steps today? Have I, you know, I wouldn't be concerned with that. So yeah, my mentality's changed. I'm a different person than where I was. But I, you know, as soon as he said that, I said, listen, you know, I'm, then I'm not going to go to the gym when I, when you're awake. I'll wait until you go to sleep. I'll go in the middle of the night if I have to, because I've seen and heard too many stories of people where weight loss surgery has really impacted their relationship and has really been a really negative um, turning point in their relationship. And that's not what I want. Like I said, I love my boyfriend more than anything in this world besides, you know, my children, obviously, but he has just been such a blessing and I'm so thankful for him and I don't want this to come between us. So I told him, like, no, then I'll go in the middle and I'll go as soon as you go to sleep. Like, I don't want this to affect us negatively. And um, so I'm trying to find how to balance this, how to make this work, because this is going to be the rest of my life. This is kind of who I am now. Um, and I don't want my momentum to stop because I feel like I, you know, it's kind of a double edged sword. I don't want him to feel like I'm. A different person and that I'm kind of like leaving him and, and, and not spending enough time with him. But I don't want myself to kind of lose the momentum of going to the gym four or five days a week and kind of hauling ass and pushing myself because I've never done this before. I've never gone, you know, to the gym for this long of a period. It's only been a month, month and a half, but still I, I wimp out real early. Like this is good for me. So I'm having to try and find how to make this work for my life because it is a lifelong change. Um, and that's what I explained to him. Like, I, I now I don't want this to come between us. I'm not trying to do this. I'm just trying to figure this out for my own. And it's a new, it's a new place for me to be in my own life. So I, 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 if I need help, like, I don't know how to make this work where everybody's happy and I need to find a way to make this work so that everybody's happy. Cause I'm not going to let this come between my, my relationship with him. Um, but I don't want to like, stop I don't know so that's my struggles that's where I'm coming at um I really thought in my brain that this was going to be like a four or five minute video but nope so um if you guys have any tips or anything on how to keep your active lifestyle um intact while still like keeping your relationship strong I feel like that's kind of like doesn't go together but um that's just where I'm struggling this week so uh any tips any advice you could give a girl would be much appreciated. Um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else going on. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any, like I said, advice, hit your girl up down below or comment me. Comment me. No, comment down below or message me or email me or find me on one of my multiple Facebook profiles. Um, but yeah, so, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you soon. And I swear to God, I'm going to get caught up in my comments and I'm going to start commenting on everybody's videos. I need to get caught up on videos too to do that. But I swear to God, it's going to happen, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye. I can never hit the stop button, you guys. What the heck? Bye.